Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and for women. The topic for this video is what if your ex trash talks you? This is a question that was posted on my channel and um, the person is facing you know, negative comments and uh, lots of trash talk on uh, the channel of her ex. I think it's uh, her, her boyfriend, I think this is a woman. So in that specific case, what can you do? What can you do really if, you're, if your ex is really talking to eventually your friends or to people you know at work or these kind of things and saying lots of negative things about you because he or she is pissed and uh, really angry with you about the breakup or about whatever happened in your relationship. So what can you do about it? Well, my answer is um, it's quite... Uh, quite simple and direct. One, one of the things that doesn't work, I believe, is to start you know, some form of ongoing battle and start attacking him or her back systematically. When you enter into this kind of conflicting situation and end up fighting with, uh, with your ex over and over again, you end up putting lots of energy into it and uh, basically the other aspects of your life are going to suffer. So what works best most of the time is minimize the amount of time and energy you put into any such conflict and focus rather on the positive, rather on finding somebody new. And the moment you start putting less energy into this conflict, eventually the, the other person will run out of energy and stop feeding that conflict. But this is, in my opinion, what works best. Now what you can do, for instance, if your friends believe uh, you know the other person or you feel that they, they, have, they might have the tendency to believe this other person then you can talk to your friends one by one you can really call them you can say look I saw that my ex is posting these negative comments na nasty comments I want you to know that this is not what I did and um, I uh, have to go and call everybody so that they understand that this is not the person I am he's just um, you know saying negative things about me or uh, you know totally lying about what happened so if you have a few friends core people uh, in your life that you think would be influenced by these comments go and call them personally and tell them your version of the story now this I think works really well because it will make you realize that people are not stupid, right? They are not dumb. They know that there was a breakup, and the one who looks really bad very often when there is this kind of trash talk going on is uh, the one who is initiating that kind of behavior. And very often people get, you know, I know it bored with these kind of things. They think, okay, well, you have been living with that person, uh, you know, you were in a relationship with that person for many years, you loved him or her, and now you are saying all these negative comments, all these negative stuff, about about him or her so uh, you know what does he tell about you right so I think that very often when somebody does something like that it's a sign of insecurity on their side it's a sign that they are still angry or feel like there is something undigested in, in them that they want to get out and um, my advice is simply try not to feed it don't uh, uh, feed into into the, uh, the fight or, or the argument Maybe one thing that you can try as well is try to have a one-time conversation with them. You call them, you say, look, we have been living together for a long time. I don't think that what you are saying is giving justice to the love and, and passion that we shared. I think it's a pity to finish it like that. So if you can, I would really appreciate you not saying these negative things about me. And uh, I will make sure that I don't say it either about, uh, about you. I don't think it's very nice to fight over this. I don't think it's... Uh, it's uh, you know uh, wise to wash our uh, dirty laundry in public like that. If you have anything to say, say to me. I'll be happy to give you something back and, and tell you what I feel about the situation without fighting. We don't have to fight anymore. We are no longer in a relationship or a couple. So these kind of things, if you want to have a one-time conversation with that person, you can call them or initiate contact and see if they respond, if they want to solve that in a diplomatic way. If they don't, stop contacting them at all. You delete any trace of uh, their life, you know, of their presence in your life, you know, emails, etc. You delete all that, you simply stop contacting them, you stop feeding them, because the fact that you keep on feeding them is something that often gives them the energy to keep on going with this kind of nasty attitude. Okay, I hope this makes sense, I know it's a challenge, but good luck with that. Take care and bye-bye.